Hi guys, welcome to another Funza Academy session. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to multiply numbers that are close to 100. Let me give you an example. What is 98 times 95? Using the method I'm about to demonstrate, you could arrive at the answer mentally in a few seconds. The answer in this case is 9310. But before we proceed, it's important to understand when to apply this method. As I mentioned earlier, this method is used to multiply numbers close to 100. Here are some examples. As you can see, in all the above examples, each number is close to 100. So could you apply this method, also known as the base 100 method, to this example? Yes, you could. However, the further away from 100 you go, the more difficult the calculation gets. Please make a note of this. Alright, with this point in mind, let's jump right in and watch this fantastic method in action. What is 91 times 99? The first thing we do is look at each number and determine how bigger or smaller it is from 100. 91 is 9 less than 100 and 99 is 1 less. We then write this down. Now we add the first number and the second deficit. So 91 plus minus 1 is 90. We then multiply this result with our base. 90 times 100 is 9000. We then multiply the two deficits. Minus 9 times minus 1 is 9. Finally, we add these two results to give us our final answer, which is 9009. That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, let's try another example to revise and reinforce the concept. What is 102 times 107? 102 is 2 more than 100. 107 is 7 more. We write this down. Now we add the first number and the second deficit. 102 plus 7 is 109. And multiplying this result with our base, we get 10,900. We then multiply the deficits. 2 times 7 is 14. And finally, we add 10,900 and 14, which gives us 10,914, our final answer. So if you have understood the concept, pause the video and try out this question, please. What is 96 times 108? If you got the correct answer, that's great. Congratulations. If not, no worries. Let's figure out the answer together. So 96 is 4 less than 100 and 108 is 8 more than 100. We write this down. We then add the first number and second deficit. This gives us 104. We could have added the second number and first deficit instead and still got the same result. Please make a note of this. Multiplying the result with our base, we get 10,400. We then multiply the deficits. Minus 4 times 8 is minus 32. Finally, we add 10,400 and minus 32 to get 10,368, our final answer. So this brings us to the end of the session, guys. We first saw this method when multiplying numbers close to 10. In this video, we used it for numbers close to 100. You could also use the same method for higher bases, such as 1000, 10,000, etc. So please keep practicing this method and slowly, you will get so good that you will be doing these calculations mentally. Now here is a great math quote to end this session. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. All the best.